Hey guys, how's it going? Eminem Gaming here and today we're back with another video and today we are going to be talking about Uncharted 4 and its multiplayer, I guess, plan, what Naughty Dog set out for its multiplayer maps, modes. It's very interesting because pretty much everything is free, so that's really cool. Um, I haven't read through this article but I'm going to read through it now. I just want to say this article is from... Um, push square um go check them out on twitter as well as youtube they have a youtube channel go obviously check them out and all that good stuff but yeah let's get into this uh because i'm really excited for uncharted um it says naughty dog has announced that all uncharted for a thief's end multiplayer content will be available for free including maps modes cosmetic items uh some will be patched in like the formed mentioned modes and maps while others you'll earn by spending relics brackets and in a kind of in-game currency on treasure chests these will include random items and while you'll have no say on what you get you'll never get the same items twice now that's really cool um so basically you open these treasure checks you're never going to get two items the same so that's really cool is all part of the developers plan to keep fans engaged long beyond launch the studios outline several core principles which have shaped its multiplayer mode fairness first brackets everyone always has access to all of the content an evolving experience brackets the component will constantly be refreshed with new stuff content for everyone you can obtain everything without spending money and unified community brackets everyone will be able to play the same maps and modes it's worth stressing of course that you will be able to buy specific items with real money if you can't wait but if you don't want to stump put up how will you earn extra content well there'll be daily challenges in uncharted 4 multiplayer for you to complete fulfilling their objectives will earn you relics you'll also obtain relics for winning matches once you've got enough relics you'll be able to buy one of two chests game gameplay or vanity the former will include weapons boosters and the like while the latter will include skins taunts and customization options the contents of each chest that you purchase are totally random but you'll never ever get any duplicates we're fine with this system for the cosmetic items but it seems a bit shady to lock weapons behind the same system especially when some with disposable income will simply be able to purchase the best firearms from the playstation store if the game balance is good though no one should be able to pay their way to victory which is good so what modes will Uncharted 4 include at launch? Well there's ranked brackets, a twisted take on team deathmatch where you'll work your way up through leagues. That's very interesting. Um, command which is a kind of chain link type experience where the MVPs carry a bounty. Team deathmatch, you know the drill here. Plunder, a themed version of Capture the Flag, and Trials, a score-based mode involving computer-controlled opponents. Now, there's a trophy for Trials. Beat every trial on medium. So, that's what it is. That's a, an in-game mode. That's awesome that I found out what this is. So, if you didn't watch my video yesterday, uh, bear in mind I didn't know what Trials mode was. So, now you know. Beat it on medium. That's pretty cool. Um... Co-op will be added for free in the autumn alongside new player modes. Now, I am excited for co-op mode. I've got to be honest with you guys. It's one of my favourite modes. And, you know, you can play with your friends. You can beast with your friends, you know, against the AI. I love that mode. So, I cannot wait till autumn to get that. I understand. You don't want the game delayed, let's just say, another month another two months to add something like that in you know what i'm saying but that's one of my favorite modes so yeah it looks like naughty dogs plan to support this well into next year with a cinematic replay mode coming in the summer mm. uh, i don't know what that is <laughs> two there's tons of more information on the playstation blog 
but we've tried to compress it all of the main bullet points for uh, you in this article. What do you think? Will you be spending much time playing Uncharted 4's multiplayer? Uh, yeah, and they just if you're interested, go and put your opinions on their site. So, I have to talk about this, guys. I have to talk about all this greatness that we've got today. So, my first thought was, my God, I've just ordered the season pass. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, what was the point? But at the end of the day, uh, it kind of makes sense. Um, it, I guess um, you're going to get your... I, I don't even know what you get, like, uh, in terms of the season pass. I know you're getting your story DLC, which is exclusive to the season pass. Um, you might... I, I don't even know what else you get, to be honest with you. But at the end of the day, that doesn't really bother me, because I just want to support Uncharted, a game I've been hyped for for four years. So I'm getting the season pass, even if I didn't really get anything, because, you know what I'm saying, it's been a, a long old way, and I want to support the game now. If you are just getting the game, that means you will not have a situation like in The Last of Us where some DLC maps you simply can't play on because um, it's locked out, uh, you know what I'm saying. Um, so that's awesome. So literally you will never have a problem finding a match in Uncharted 4 um, because everyone has access to the maps. So, um, that's really cool for a lot of people who weren't planning on getting the DLC. You don't really have to now, uh, unless you're like me and you need that story DLC. But, um, yeah, basically, this is a really, really smart move by Naughty Dog. This is basically extending the life of Uncharted 4 multiplayer for probably until the PlayStation 5. And you might say that's a little bit over the top, but... If we look even to this day, Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 both, both have um, very active um, onlines still to this day. And we're about three years into the new life cycle of the consoles. And Uncharted 4, sorry, Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 2 on the PS3 um, are still going strong. So, um, yeah, it's awesome to see that this game is going to be supported uh, by... Uh, Naughty Dog and that's awesome now one thing I want to touch on is the whole gun thing um, I think they were saying that you know I remember in the last of us you could buy a gun that made it very easy for you or not easy you had to still be good or whatever but it made it easier I, I never used it because I never bought it because I only found out after getting my ass kicked by it like a hundred times it was an actual <laughs> you know, a little bit of a, a cheese gun or whatever. But I hope they don't have that in Uncharted 4. I hope they literally just have... When it says guns like the gold AK or the the, the bronze... Or something like that. That would be awesome. Uh, but maybe, possibly there's going to be an OP gun. There usually is in most games. And I can't see this being a, a different... Um, Really, this is awesome. So, like, if you're really impatient and you want to drop £20 or something and get all the customization options, you can do that. And I guess Naughty Dog want to give you that option simply because, like I said, this is sort of a service. Um, you know, Uncharted 4 is sort of a service. You know, uh, they had DLC on the, the Last of Us because they want it to last for ages. They have DLC on other Uncharted because they want the game to last. So, if you do have a bit of spare money and you just want to fancy just buying it, I mean, there's no problem with that. Uh, some people hate DLC, and if you do hate DLC, well, you don't have to buy any of it. That's awesome, you know. The maps are free. Uh, everything's free. I mean, like, if you think about it, for me, example, me, uh, I'm going to be playing this for months, like I said. Like, um, this is the first big playstation exclusive um multiplayer game now it's had some very good games bloodborne uh, ratchet and clank uh, drive club which i guess is a multiplayer game or whatever but really a big big multiplayer this is the first exclusive one uh and this is one of my favorite franchises so i will probably be playing this until maybe battlefield 5 uh, comes out and even then i will still be playing it every day because i have people to play it with um so for me, I probably will end up playing so much 
that naturally will unlock everything. Um, I think it's a similar case to like uh, Street Fighter Five. Uh, probably not the best comparison because that wasn't exactly um, met with a warm <laughs> reception, let's just say. But at the same time, they offered everything's free. If you want to play through it, you can. If you don't, here's your option to buy all the DLC. That's very smart from Uncharted. Uh, be very interesting if I get any like stuff with this season pass or whatnot but um yeah it's going to be awesome to see so let me know guys what are you excited for to play in this mode um there's this cinematic mode which i don't know what the hell that means is that something to do with vr is that uh is that literally all the cutscenes from the game and no game like i don't know what that is um it'd be very interesting to see am i just completely missing out the whole point of it um, I think we can guarantee this is going to have a PSVR Neo mode, which is going to lock everything at 1080p 60 for multiplayer and single player, uh, which I can't wait for. Um, but let me know, guys. What are you doing? What are you doing for Uncharted? Are you getting the Libertalia collection? Are you, are you getting the regular version? Are you getting the middle version like myself? I, I was going to get the statue, but I don't like having clutter in my house or whatnot. So I got the one under that with the season pass. Um, but yeah, just let me know, what are you going to be buying? What are you going to get? And are you excited to get these free free maps um, in Uncharted 4? This has been Eminem Gaming. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you guys in a new video.